If you own a Tesla Model 3 and you're wondering what an amp is, what kilowatt hour is, how much actually it costs to charge your Tesla, and the very best method of charging the percentage for your Tesla Model 3, then check this out. What's up guys, it's from Camera to Freedom and I am loving my Tesla Model 3. I've been making fun videos and it's just a joy and I love meeting all the Tesla communities out there. So thank you so much if you have seen my previous videos and commented on it. So thank you. And if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Before owning a Tesla, I never really cared for what a kilowatt hour meant, right? You get the power bill, how much you uh, are charged to use it, and maybe the most thing that I ever really worried about was like the amps, right? Your How to charge your iPhone, five amp charger that thing comes with taking all night compared to like a 32 amp uh, charger that only takes hours to charge up your iPhone. It's all about kilowatt hours. My solar panels gives us about 80 kilowatt hours in the day on a good sunny day. In the house, we use about 30 to 40 kilowatt hours. So our solar panel is not only covering a whole house and our charging, uh, car charging, it also gives back some of the power back to Edison, uh, the power company. And in the end of the year, they're supposed to give us some money for doing that. So having a solar panel is the way to go because I was paying $400 a month on electric bills. So that's crazy. And now I'm paying $150 a month for the solar panels I got. And then that's a lot less, right? So save money by getting solar panels. Let's go talk about it. Amps, kilowatt hour, how much it costs, and the best charging habit. Let's say you have a Tesla Model 3 and you only have a regular wall outlet. You live in an apartment, your house doesn't have that 220 volt, so that means you have a 120 volt wall outlet, all right? You could, of course, charge your car with a regular wall outlet. It can be done. Your regular wall power is giving you 1.4 kilowatt hour. Your Tesla Model 3 performance and long range could hold up to 82 kilowatt hour while the standard holds up to 62 kilowatt hour that's a lot of power right this car could power up my house for three days straight if it was plugged into it somehow so that's how much power it takes to run your car if you want to go from zero to your 82 kilowatt hour 100 percent then that's 1.4 times 82 so that equals to about 73 hours to charge your Tesla Model 3 from zero to 100 on a regular wall outlet. That sounds like crazy. That sounds like it takes forever, right? But if you live in an apartment and you just happen to just live like, you know, a few miles from your work and you don't really need to charge your car that much every night, then that's very doable. Uh, it's, you know, it's gonna take three days to charge up your car. Overnight, it'll give you one third of the power or so. I'm just kind of like throwing out rough estimated um, uh, numbers out there but you know you'll get that much power overnight so if you're not driving that much regular wall outlet is good to go and the word is that the less power the less amp that it pushes out a lot safer it is for your battery that's the word on the street <laughs> so but you know with tesla uh, battery technology they're also saying that it doesn't matter if your tesla model 3 is receiving you know 12 amps of power 32 amps or a supercharger at 48 amps per hour or even 100 amps your tesla model 3 could handle that so it's not they say that it's not going to deteriorate your battery no matter how much amps of power has been pushed into your car so if you want to have a, an efficient way of charging your car obviously you get the NEMA 1450 that's like the regular dryer uh, the round big dryer plug that you get you get 220 volt power double the power of the uh, regular 120 volt that's in your wall outlet so that but on top of the power itself being doubled it also pushes out 32 amps to your car. So that's 32 amps times 220 volt and you get 7,040 watt. Kilo it out, put that decimal in there and you get about 7.04. So you get just seven kilowatt hour with your NEMA 1450. So the Tesla Model 3, 82 watt battery that it has, divide 82 by seven 
that equals 12. So if you were to charge your car from zero to 100% on a long distance and performance, it will take you only 12 hours to get a full charge. And since, you know, most of the time we're only charging 50% of it, we're never really gonna come in here at 0%. Um, right, so you kind of come in at 50% or you come in at, you know, 30% and you kind of go all the way to 80%. Um, then it's half of that. So in six hours, you get a, you know, a half a charge of your full car and that is plenty fast. Uh, I never end up waiting for my car to be charged. That is super good and super fast. So that's the calculation for 220 volt. Superchargers vary in how much power can give you, depending on where it's located at some share the power if there's two outlets coming out in one supercharger so if you if you got one and someone else has one then you're like splitting that power in half but if you got one solid one then it pushes out 250 amps times 400 volt that means you get a hundred thousand watt and that equals to 100 kilowatt hour that's crazy 100 kilowatt hour in one hour right so 100 kilowatt hour in one hour your car is 82 so in one hour it'll exceed so in like about 50 minutes or so, you, your car could be charged from zero to 100% in about, you know, 50 minutes, right? So, but obviously we all know that you're never going to charge your car, not never, but you're rarely ever going to charge your car to 100% unless it's the standard where they recommend you do daily charging at 100%. But we're going to talk about that uh, towards the end. Let's talk about charging your car, the best time to charge your car in your house and at the supercharger. I didn't even know about this before because I never really cared about it. But now I understand that there's off peak hours and peak hours. So peak hours in Southern California to use the uh, power company energy is from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. My power bill is at 54 cents per kilowatt hour, 54 cents. So that's the most expensive it's gonna cost for me to use the uh, power from the electric company. So don't ever do your laundry, don't ever cook anything, don't do nothing, Turn, shut everything down during 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Don't do nothing because <laughs> from 9 p.m. all the way around the clock till um, 4 p.m., it's half the price. Mine is at 22 cents. So if the power is at 22 cents half the price at off peak hours. So that's when you want to start your cooking, <laughs> you know, laundry. And obviously it's off peak because nobody does anything at that time. Nobody's doing laundry like, you know, 10 at night or while people are at work till, you know, 4 p.m. So they get you, man. That's how they get you. They like, they know everyone uses their power at this time. So it's, that's when it's going to be the most expensive. So, but that means that you need to charge your car during off peak hours even at the supercharger they are going to be following the same rule during the peak hours of 4 p.m to 9 p.m they're going to charge you you know 50 some cents an hour at least here in southern california and um non-peak off peak hours from 9 p.m all night time till you know all the way around the clock to 4 p.m it's going to be the ha uh, half price that's a huge difference because if you charge your car uh, at the supercharger, it could cost you up to about $30 for a full charge from 0 to 100. No one's going to do it, but just giving you a, a number. And if you were to do it at off peak hours, it's half, right? $15 for a full charge. We charge 50%. That's even less, right? That's $7 for half the charge. So it's really cheap to make sure that you charge your car at off peak hours. All right, let's talk about the best charging habits for your Tesla Model 3. 2022 let's start off with your tesla uh, model 3 standard range this is such a interesting thing because right because everybody knows it's a everybody that owns a tesla knows that first off the main rule is you should never go below 10 percent when you drive around don't let it go below 10 percent or else that's when your battery is suffering the most and don't let it go up to a hundred percent because lithium batteries don't like to be at hundred percent um lithium batteries really love to be at 50 percent so real quickly elon musk has said that your car should be charged at 50 to 90 percent and you could even see it on the meter itself on the screen it gives you a meter it only wants you to stick around that area it doesn't like you to be anywhere else definitely not below uh, but 
definitely not 100% either. They tell you that you could of course charge your car to 100% whenever you're gonna drive far, but Elon Musk himself has said that that's a waste. You should just charge it at 95% if you're gonna you know, go long distance because then you have a chance to use your regenerative braking to give your car back some power. Because if you charge at 100%, you'll, you'll get a notice on the screen that says your regenerative braking isn't gonna work. So, you know, when you let go of the uh, pedal, you still end up going. You don't slow down how you normally would with a regenerative braking. So it, it not only is 95% best because you are not hurting the battery by charging 100%, but you're also using it more efficiently by still being able to use the regenerative braking to give your car back some power when you're driving. So you might as well just never charge it at 100% at this point. You know, I've done my research left and right, reading all these articles and videos and and so on. It's 100% good. And before I saw on Tesla website that you should charge your car once a week at 100%. But I guess not. I guess that's another theory that just wasn't really valid. Elon Musk has blurted out that, you know what, Char keep your car charged at 70%. That's just the best number to give out. And then I saw another video where a Tesla battery engineer said, if you really want to love your car, keep your car charged at 50%. So now my charging habit is, if I know I'm not going to be driving far, I'm going to just keep it at 50% as much as possible. I do have weeks when I have to actually drive, you know, hundreds of miles for work. Then I keep it at 80% for that whole week. Um, and then if I need to drive long distance, I was doing at 100, but now I'm just going to do it at 95% uh, so that the regenerative braking also does its part taking care of your car. So that's a great charging habit to have for your Tesla Model 3 long range and performance. For your standard range though, check this out. So before a lot of the people were charging their cars at 50% to 90% and then you know once a week 100%. But then there was a lot of people complaining that their batteries are losing their memory and they're getting less miles for their charge. So now the very latest update that Tesla has given out, they say to charge it 100% daily. So, so as you can see, like all of us are still trying to figure out the best method of charging your car. Everybody has their theories and so on, and we're all learning together as we're doing it. Everybody's coming up with their own conclusions. So, um, definitely figure out, uh, by yourself also to see what the best percentage it is, uh, for your car. You might find something that's different than anybody else. Maybe it's 50% twice a week and then 75% the other day and, you know, 90% for every Saturday. Maybe an interesting combination would give your battery longevity. There are YouTubers out there um, with Tesla that some of them has increased their battery capacity because of a certain pattern of method that they were charging their car. So that's kind of neat. That, you know, you could do that with your battery. You could play with it and just kind of like make it where you increase the health of your battery. And either way, Tesla batteries is the best kind of batteries out there. It's not like a regular lithium battery that you see anywhere else. It's very smart and it lasts forever. So there's a lot of forums and videos out there talking about how they had their older Tesla for 10 years. They took care of the battery and the battery is still great barely any deterioration so conclusion if you own a tesla model 3 standard then just daily keep it charged for 100 percent since that's their latest recommendation and if you have a yes my baby and if you have a a standard if you have a long range and performance keep it at 50 percent as much as you can when you drive a lot of miles then try to keep it at 80 percent and if you really need to fill up, just fill up to 95% and just let the 5% uh, let your car be able to use the regenerative braking so it is the most efficient it can be. Alright guys, if you watched that all the way through, I really appreciate it. Please hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you next time. Ready? You want to ride bike?